everybody, it's me, Sheldon the Snail, from the Grandview Heights Public Library. Welcome to Drawing with Sheldon. Just as a reminder, there will be a moderator, so please let us know if you're watching so we can say hello. Are you ready to sing my favorite drawing song with me? Draw, draw with me, make it simple as can be. Drawing makes me happy, not sad. Drawing makes me feel good, not bad. Draw. Draw with me, make it simple to last your whole life long. Don't worry if it's not good enough for anyone else to see. Just draw, draw with me. for singing along, everybody. You know, I was just thinking today how much I love fall. Do you love fall? Would you like to know why I love fall so much? Well, it's because I love to play in the leaves. Do you like to play in the leaves too? So, I bet you might be able to guess what we're drawing today. I just gave you a big clue. So let's let Miss G know we're ready to draw. Miss Jean, where are you? Well, hi everybody, and welcome to Drawing with Sheldon. I'm Miss Jean from the Grandview Heights Public Library, and we are so glad you could join us today. So Sheldon just gave you a big clue about what we're going to draw today since there's so many leaves that are falling from the trees right now, I thought it would be fun to make a wreath of leaves. So we're gonna draw some leaves on this circle to make kind of a fun decoration. Now, I traced the circle here. Uh, I traced a container um, lid but you can draw a big circle or trace a big circle, whatever you'd like to do. And I'm going to write the word wreath on top of the paper. W R E A T H. And since we're going to be making a wreath of leaves, I'm also going to write the word leaves on top of the paper. L E A V S. So I brought a few leaves in with some different shapes that you can see. So as you're drawing your leaves, you can even maybe see the leaves in your yard and see all the pretty colors and the different way you can see here. I don't know if you can see the veins that run through the leaves. So we're just going to get started and start drawing a simple leaf shape on our circle like this. So what I'm going to do is just going to continue to go around the circle drawing just a simple leaf pattern like this. You can draw some on the outside of the circle and some on the inside of the circle. Just like that.
And if you'd like, you can add the veins of the leaves. You can just make lines across like that. And there's no right or wrong here. You can make your leaves look like how you want them to be. Just adding some more veins. And then as you continue to go around, you can add some more, I'll put another one over here. You can add some kind of different shaped leaves. So you can try um, something more shaped like this. And so you can kind of follow around like that. Make a few over here. Like that. And then you can make um, some wider leaves if you want to make bigger leaves like that. You can make some bigger ones. And add some more veins in those leaves. And if you want, you could also add some berries. So you can make little berry stems. It's for some fall berries like that, little circles. You can add those all around your picture. And you can have a lot of fun filling in your leaves. And then the fun part is coloring in your fall wreath. So I will show you what Sheldon has done. He added some different colors, like the leaves kind of, you can see the change color. Some leaves are kind of orange in one part and yellow. They're not always a solid color. So if you go um, and look around your yard and hunt for some pretty leaves, you might get to see all sorts of colors and different shapes. And so go ahead and explore in your neighborhood, in your yard, and see what beautiful leaves you can find. And then you can make this uh, fun fall wreath and have someone at your house maybe make one too. So I hope you really enjoyed drawing this fun fall wreath with me today. And as always, don't forget to check out our great links to uh, books, songs, and videos. And don't forget to check out... Um, next week, our last week of story times, um, until we take a little break. So uh, we hope you'll have a great week. And as always, keep smiling and keep drawing. Bye-bye.